Yes, so hi, this is Bernard Brault with the uh, OTN uh, Systems. Um, picking up from the last video, where uh, in the last video I showed uh, how to create different tunnels, uh, mainly rings and subring, like ring ring number one here, and creating a, sort of a subring. As you can see right there, there's a subring. The view here is a bit different from what you saw uh, before. It's a network view as opposed to a connection view. Um, so slightly different screens but um, what I want to do is on the network view is show how to attach services to to this network so um, one of the service I created was a voice over IP service and if I highlight the service it's showing me uh, basically uh, where you see these little pop out there that uh, basically all of these ports are part of a, a, a port base uh, LAN and uh, basically you would connect the telephone to uh, interface 1 port 4 right there a VoIP telephone here same thing there same thing there and as you can see uh, just for convenience I've skipped a number of different sites um, uh, so you got about like uh, some 20 20 30 sites here that I picked up across the entire network and those would all be part of the VoIP service and the VoIP server might be right here at my control center at the uh, uh, site uh, 1120 right there and this could be the VoIP server and it'd be sort of connected via LAN via these rings and sub rings so if you have fiber cuts and all that you'd be uh, protected but um, it, it may not be a good idea to put all of the uh, uh, all of the uh, uh, voice over IP phones on on the same LAN so uh, one thing that you may prefer to do is is break it down uh, so, for example, you may say, uh, I'm going to like uh, basically have all of the uh, telephones in this main ring or whatever looks like a ring here, the uh, 1000 series nodes here, come out of one port into the uh, VoIP PABX and have a, a separate port for, let's say, the second ring right there. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Even though I created a VoIP service, uh, let's ignore it for now and uh, let's just uh, leave it there. I could delete it and uh, start over, but uh, let's. why don't we create a, uh, a VoIP for uh, the 1000 series uh, phone lines and they all come out of one port there and we'll do the same thing for the other rings. All right, so let's do this. Uh, let's go to the Connection tab. And so what we're doing now is adding a service and as you can see tunnels are already created and what we're doing is attaching services to these tunnels. So we already have the tunnels in place to do what I'm talking about. So let's call it VoIP, uh, oh, let's put capital P, 1000 um, and it's Ethernet port base. Next it's asking me for the, uh, the port selection. So that's pretty easy. I'm going to zoom in to the main core ring of the network and what I'm going to do is, as you can see here, I already have uh, some of the ports may already be picked up. So what I'm going to do is on interface module number two is pick the uh, port number four right there. All right. So across the board. So that's what I'm going to do. So uh, pick up this port and, uh, and move around the ring. There you go. So as you see here, it takes quite a few clicks to do that. And uh, a way to avoid this would be uh, to simply write write a script. But in this case, it would take me a lot longer to write a script than just to move around move around the ring right there and just select port number two. Even though I got a, quite a few to do, I only uh, do this only once, so it's not that big of a deal. All right, so almost done. There you go, that port selected. And finally this one. So let's see now. Looks like we've gone all the way around the ring. So we've selected these uh, port number two. And as you can see, the selection is shown right here on the left. So these are the selected ports that we have and across the 1000 series. So we got port number four, 10, 20, 30, 40, and you go all the way down, and you notice that there's nothing selected in the rest of the network. All right, so that's good. Next, it's asking me, am I going to keep the VLAN tags? Let's ignore this. Uh, let's keep all the tags. And finally, all we have to do is select a, the main ring right here. And um, priority, I would make this a priority uh, four. 
uh, top priority is five, what is reserved for TDM services and uh, and as well as teleprotection. So we're going to make this a uh, uh, port four and 50 megabit per second for the service is probably good enough for the VoIP. Here's a summary of what we are doing. Pseudo wire label assignments. And uh, we're done. So uh, what I've done here, let me close this and show you, is basically I created a, a service called VoIP 1000. And if I highlight the VoIP 1000 right here, uh, what's that's what's being displayed right now. And you see that VoIP 1000 basically is picking up all of the ports shown here interface 2 port 4 that we just did and they're all going to be uh, basically dropping on my PABX on interface 2 port 4 and the intent now is to repeat the same thing for the other rings and basically create different you know port base uh, lands and have multiple ports go to the PABX as opposed to a single port which could do the job except it would be a single point of failure if you lose it then you fail everybody if there's garbage on the line and so on you may affect the entire network as opposed to breaking it down it's all about like uh, piecemealing this network all right I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, when I come back I uh, will show you that I created these other VoIP services